Yes, sir. So, bros, every time we hear a story that's got <laughs> that's got to deal with the WNBA or women's college basketball or women's sports is something negative for the most part. Megan Rapino, all of these toxic lesbians. But in this case, it's just like, are you serious? We're talking about Texas A&M women's college basketball. They're not making any noise. March Madness is coming up, but it has nothing to do with the players. It has something to do with the former player who's an assistant coach now for Texas A&M, Sidney Carter. We got some bozo basically going out of his way to put up a post or a tweet basically saying what she's wearing is inappropriate, question mark. <laughs> you got these bozos who are uncomfortable and assisted basically curvy, wearing pink leather pants in support of breast cancer awareness, looking plump and pink. And they want to say that's inappropriate. <laughs> these get off my lawn clowns, all of these old bozos that remember the days where women are dressed like a butch dyke lesbian in pants suits because they have bodies like Miley Cyrus or Big Bertha. Those days are over. On one side, you got dudes that are worried about the way that Sidney Carter's dressed because pretty much, bro, she's looking better than the players and everybody else that's involved. So that's going to be an issue. But then on the flip side to everybody that knows what's up with women's sports, don't you want to see more Miss Sidney Carter's, bro? Don't you want to see more of Sidney Carter? She might have raised awareness to have some dudes click on ESPN2 if they're on TV. <laughs> We already know that the WNBA and the, and the NCAA conditioning women to become pansexuals, bro. Butch Dyke lesbians, left and right. We already know the story to where the feminine energy, bro, is non-existent. We definitely don't see it. So, of course, we want to see this. Cindy Carter's out here looking better than the players. So what? <laughs> but GMA made it a hit piece. Let's Let's check it out. Time now for our GMA cover story and our exclusive interview with Tech. Now look at this. this. Is this inappropriate? It is what it is, bro. There's numerous occasions, whether it's business casual or whatever it is, to where women are wearing leather pants. I've seen it. I know somebody else seen it. It's not whether you're going out to the club or you're going to coach. It is what it is. You're dealing with women in the Western world in this modern era. They're going to dress to the T. When they go out, they want to show out. That's it. To Miss Carter's defense, when it's a game night, game event, or whatever it is, she posts her outfit. For some odd reason, somebody felt some kind of way as of lately. It is what it is. Some bum-ass dude that basically is jealous that the women in his era are not looking like Sidney Carter. The women in his radius are not looking like Sidney Carter. Bunch of Miley Cyruses. Bodies like olive oil or Big Bertha. <laughs> This is A&M assistant women's basketball coach Sydney Carter, who made headlines from the sidelines all because of what she was wearing. Deborah Roberts spoke with Carter. She's here to share it with us. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning, Michael. Yeah, and some are calling foul on this one, okay? Since she was four years old, Sydney Carter has loved basketball and fashion. Both of them have sparked strength and confidence in her, she says, as she's made her way into the world of women's competitive sports. So she never expected that the two things which bring her such joy would also lead to controversy. Sydney Carter's passion for basketball has taken her from center court at Texas A&M to four seasons with the WNBA and now back to her alma mater, coaching the game's next generation of players. Basketball has just taken me across the world um, and has shown me things that um, I dreamed of as a little kid. But it's Carter's recent appearance on the sidelines that's making headlines. I mean, damn. I mean, right here, she looking like she ready to go get some mimosas. Like, she got a date after the game. But let's be honest, bro. Is this really a big deal? And in all honesty, bros are going to tune in. <laughs> we want to see this, bro. Look at the woman behind her. Who looks better? <laughs> after this outfit on her Twitter account sparked a fierce debate. Sheesh. <laughs> How could any dude be mad at this right here? How could this, how could somebody basically go out of their way and now this is actually a story? But they basically want to make a spin out this to basically empower a woman to wear what they want to wear. You know the rest. 
about what's appropriate attire for women in sports. Let's just go back real quick to see what another assistant coach was wearing on the bench. Your account sparked a fierce debate about what's appropriate. So Sydney Carter is looking real plump and pink, and that's the story. Meanwhile, we got an assistant coach right here wearing hot pink, and she's basically wearing heels or shoes also. So what's the issue? In attire for women in sports. You like to wear sort of eye-catching outfits. What was your thoughts after you got such reaction to your pink pants there's nothing really eye revealing about her outfits she's just showing what she's working with these women know that they're packing they know what they're working with bro they know the pants to fill up they know the pants that reveal the curves the list goes on she gets up dresses up to the t puts the post on ig bunch of fire emojis bunch of comments from their bi curious girls the list goes on <laughs> We're in the era to where you can't judge a woman for what she's wearing. You're going to be misogynistic. All of the words. I mean, I was confused uh, just because it was just something that I had always done. I wore the pink pants because we were celebrating uh, or honoring breast cancer awareness uh, at our game in Kentucky. So I, my initial reaction was just shock. The social media comments swift and not all kind. Some saying it was unprofessional. Others going so far as to say Carter should be fined. So Only a bozo who was most likely a troll would say that she deserves to be fined for wearing pink leather pants. <laughs> <laughs> but then you can look up in the top too. You can see that she's dressed to the T. Look over here in the right. She's dressed in a pantsuit. Nobody's saying anything about that. To the left, she's dressed to the T, looking like she's ready to get it on on the coaching. Nobody's saying anything about that. On the bottom too, what's the difference? What's the big deal? You got these bozos and the dude, he deserves all of the backlash that he's getting because you're basically trying to drain the last bit of ounce of feminine energy out of women's basketball, college and professional, bro. We already know what's going on with the WNBA and the college league is basically conditioning these females to become lesbians. Let's be honest. It was unprofessional. Others going so far as to say Carter should be fined. Sometimes it just seems like women can never do enough to satisfy everybody. So that's why I say do what you're confident in. Be who you are regardless of what people say they would prefer to be the norm. There is no norm anymore. You make it your own. What do you say to those who say, but how do you coach in high heels? I'm still getting my job done at the end of the day, and not once have I been hindered in wearing high heels or leather pants. I'm not the first person to wear heels on the bench, nor leather pants, and nor will I be the last. And she's also getting support online. Rapper Nicki Minaj writing, let them know, mama, under a photo of that pink outfit. Others saying her clothing shouldn't matter. Some even calling out the criticism as racist. I've never been one to make it about race uh, or, or anything else. Uh, I just know that at the end of the day, I'm a black woman and I can't hide that, nor can I hide the fact that I look the way that I look in those. Damn. I mean, damn. <laughs> I mean, in all actuality to the bros that already know what time it is and how the toxic lesbian energy is taking over the WNBA and the collegiate athletes by storm. Who's mad at this? <laughs> Only the bozos get off my lawn dudes talking about. I remember when women used to dress up in pantsuits looking like stud muffins. Who wants to see that? <laughs> You can't hide the fact that, yeah, you're a sister, and you can't hide the fact that you're thicker than a bowl of oatmeal with peanut butter. You can't hide that unless you want to throw on some baggier clothes and a dress to make these bozos feel more comfortable. It is what it is. Pants in particular. So I'm, I'm not going to try to do that to make someone else feel comfortable because it's what I feel comfortable in. So to all those negative comments, to all those critics out there, you say what? Nothing at all. Thank you. <laughs> nothing at all thank you Car and that's a good way to go out why would you need to address the haters the people that are insecure the people that are hating on you for being confident in your skin why would you want to address them don't be that female or don't be that fool that wants to stretch their 15 minutes of fame to address haters you know what i'm gonna pray for you <laughs> 
I hope you find the root of the issue that's causing that hurt and you deal with that hurt. Nobody want to hear that sentimental bullshit. Go about your business. <laughs> and bros that already know game, you're happy to see this type of energy. In all actuality, we want to see Miss Sydney Carter in the WNBA. Give her a head coaching job. Fuck Becky Hammond. <laughs> Let's be honest and let's be real, bro. But it's enough of that, man. I'm out.